there. I have had such a good day in the studio today with the stuff that I've been sewing on. Um, I've been working really strongly over the last two weeks um, just on sewing for the launch. Um, um, but I have ordered a bunch of stuff that's set to arrive next week. So I thought I would update you guys today and then I'll show you guys next week when all of the exciting stuff arrives. So I've ordered chairs beautiful um yeah wire chairs um i've ordered wire chrome um mannequin coat hangers for the dresses um what else have i ordered i've ordered a bunch of other stuff but i can't even remember oh business cards swing tags just a heap of stuff basically um but i thought i would show you guys the progress on a wedding dress that i've been working on today it's one of my favorite designs of the collection i absolutely love it um, and i thought i would show you guys the process because this is a design that to me looks just as beautiful when it's like not even sewn together versus it finished as well. Like I, I think the stages are really beautiful. So I thought I would show you guys. This is the table where I do most of my Instagram flat laying. Um, it's a table that my dad actually built for the place. Um, it's really beautiful. It's just out of um, pine, but I'll stand up, <laughs> take that off on this little stool that I got. So you guys can get like an overview of the design, but I love it so, so, so much. So yeah, this is like the bodice component of the design and I've done so much work yesterday. I did, um, let me just turn to manual. I did all of this pad stitching, which I don't know how much it's gonna show up. Did all of that pad stitching by hand not by hand, obviously, like on the machine. But when you look at how many panel pieces there are, and that's all done by machine. It took me a really long time. Um, and I've fused all of these and then um, backed them as well. So it may not look like a lot of work, but this has been about two days worth of work. And now I have to decide if I'm going to use Petersham um, on the design. I don't know, I love Petersham. It's one of my favorite um, kinds of ribbon that you can buy. That's what Petersham looks like. You usually see it on like wool fedoras, but I'm thinking about piping the bodice. So having it like down the seams, potentially. I don't know, what do you guys think? I think I'm gonna go ahead with it because without I don't know, I just feel like the Petersham is really going to help um, just give some more depth to the design. But I thought I would show you guys what the wedding dress rack is looking like because I finally have some more dresses on here. As you can see, there's a nice array of color palette in the wedding dresses. So I've got this stuff here, which is indefinitely in an ivory color. Um, bad guy. I had so much fun working on this design. It's got the little off the shoulder sleeves as well. And then this one actually has whew, um, this skirt, which sits over the top and it has tulle in it. I don't know, I need a bigger lens, hey? <laughs> Cause I don't know how much of this you're going to see, um, but it's got the tape on the hem um, and it's got tulle on the inside as well. And then I think I've shown you guys this linen dress. This is a really nice crisp white. And then there's this design, which I'm not in love with and I don't know if I'm going to include in the collection. It's very Grecian. Um, and then there's this design. All of them don't look nice right now because um, they are not on um, proper mannequins. Um, so I bought these wire my battery is about to run out so i have to finish but uh i bought these wire chrome coat hangers that are like a mannequin so they create fullness through the bust and the waist which essentially means that instead of a garment being on a hanger like this with a bust see how this sits in when there's a bust in the actual coat hanger it'll create fullness 
through the waist and instead of it looking 2D and flat like that, it'll sit like out and it'll be 3D. That was a really bad explanation. Um, but yes, so I feel like there's not a lot going on right now and there's gonna be stuff happening next week. So I might just schmooze the next two weeks together. Um, it's freezing here in Perth. I have like another jumper when I'm sewing in the studio on top of what I'm wearing now and my like woolly glittery socks because it is freezing. And although this place has heating, I really suffer from the cold, especially when I'm tired. I find that I just can't get warm. And I don't know if you can see by the bags in my eyes and the fact that I'm not wearing any makeup, but I am very tired. Um, yeah, so there's a little fruit fly hanging around. Yeah, I hope you guys are well, and I'll see you in the next part of this video. I also thought I'd really quickly show you guys the um, Petersham tape on the inside of the cups that I make up. So I always make up cups to fit my bustier design that are like custom fit for each girl. Um, and I just thought I'd show you the inside because this is a new technique that I learned when I went to England um, with the Petersham tape on that seam. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I don't know if you guys are gonna be interested in that kind of stuff, but um, I wish someone showed me this. The All the like, big name designers like um, Dolce and Gabbana, they all use Petersham to bind their um, interiors, like their burning channels um, and their bustier seams um, like this. Yeah. Good morning everybody. Uh, late yesterday the chairs finally arrived for the studio which is super exciting. I've like ordered a lot of things over the past three or four weeks and they're just slowly starting to come in today so I thought I'd share with you guys a few of them. Um, this is the company that I got the chairs from for any of you who are interested. Um, it's an Australian uh, company I believe but um, probably they might ship um, internationally um, the box is massive it almost didn't fit through the door so yeah I thought I would unbox them here because I don't think the box is going to fit in my car to get them to the studio um, they barely fit through the front door so I thought I'd do that now so basically they are metal, um, they're like a metal chair, but they're pow what they call powder coated. Um, so it's like white powder coated um, finish. And that goes the same for the stands, but I have to like make them, <laughs> which I didn't think I was gonna have to do, which is a bit of a pain. Um, didn't know I was buying Ikea flat packing but yeah this is what they look like and then they also come with this um like cushion thing i don't think you can sort of see the shape in there uh, maybe i'll open these when i get them to the studio yeah i think i'll open these when i get to the studio but basically the cushion sits like on there like that and that's what the chair looks like. Good afternoon and hello. I was supposed to film this morning when I got into the studio, but got too excited and forgot to. So I thought I would film a little clip now, catch you guys up on some of the changes that are happening in the studio. I'm like midway through a pattern right now so hence why I got this cool little accessory. Do you guys like my coat actually? I got it for my birthday from Zara. I absolutely love it. It's like a duck egg blue coat and I love it so much. Um, yeah so much has happened in the past week or so. Um, I'm in the process of editing the video that you're watching now so yeah, hope you guys are liking it. Um, 
a lot of stuff has changed and then also like not a lot of stuff has changed if that kind of makes sense um, like little things that may not really mean anything to anyone but mean a lot to me this is my in store signage and then I'm getting this perspex um, glued on top it's gonna look like that this is like a clear resin perspex um, so I'm really happy with that this desk is so messy because I've just been so busy I got my swing tags with all my like bits and bobs I'll show you the finished one because I decided to eyelet it this little eyelet at the top and then it's got matching pink rayon ribbon um, there's a few more dresses you guys might have noticed that have been added to the rack I've finished these two satiny slinky numbers this is a beautiful copper it's not really showing up true on camera um, and this is like a petrol color and I'm working on the last dress now and I've also got a bunch more dresses that are pretty much finished I love this one it's obviously not finished it needs to be on a mannequin to look nice this one that I'm absolutely in love with the mesh paneling on the side and then again the lace up back I don't think you guys have seen this one either this is a little bit more streamlined and then it has an overlayer skirt that you can wear over the top of this so when you walk down the aisle you've got like this massive poofy train that's full of chul and then when you go to the reception you can take it off and dance the night away and then this is the um, window signage so this big sticker here is the Mavana sign and then underneath it is the like Mavana bridal studio by appointment only and this is I'll show you guys when it's up but it's like that metallic gold really beautiful um, like the really gold looking gold if that makes sense kind of like a copper gold um, that's gonna look beautiful in the windows so they're going in the Mavana signs going here and then um, this is where the bridal studio thing will go and then um, the lights are nearly finished these just need to be installed that's the top portion and it's like a pendant light and then there's three strands that come down and it'll have on each side one will have that Edison style this Edison style and then like a smaller cheaper Edison style so there's going to be three tiers of lights hanging down kind of where this light is now but it'll be the three pendant lights hanging and then there'll be a mannequin here well there that's there is a mannequin that is a mannequin that will be there and then there'll be another mannequin on this plinth that will showcase one of the bridesmaids dresses and I got this suede to make cushions and the chairs I don't think I got a chance to finally show you guys the chairs because I ran out of friggin battery the other day I'm sorry it's like an absolute tip in here because we were doing the lights and it's just been crazy um, these are the chairs with a tissue on it um, these are like a synthetic leather and this is like a powder coated metal and I friggin love them I think they look amazing and there'll be one pushed in on this side and then they'll have the grey suede cushion yeah then I also bought some velvet to cover another cushion that will go um, on the couch over there. And yes, apologies for standing on my little fitting plinth. <laughs> um, yeah, sorry this has been like quick, quick, quick. I just have so much to do before the shoot, which is locked in for Wednesday next week, which sounds like a lot of time. Today's Thursday, but I still have a lot of hemming, a lot of zips to put in, buttons. I'll show you the buttons maybe another time, but I got fabric cover buttons, but yeah, there's so much going on. So that's the shoot. Um, um, and then next Friday is the studio party door opening shindig so I've just gotta 
arrange the meat and cheese platters and yeah I've got the champagne and the glasses and yeah just sorting out the last few little bits that I need to for that party but I'm so excited and so ready to finally open the doors to this place have the signage up and yeah pretend to be an adult might sound weird but yeah I'm just excited sorry my neck is this jumper gets so high on me I love the color palette though of the um brown and gray it's one of my favorite tones together brown and gray um I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I promised I would show you I got this beautiful um hearts plant and I've hung the pampas grass finally um and you know what maybe I'll just show you the pattern that I'm working on now for shits and giggles oh yeah I got this all of today's lovely dirty dishes you're welcome um yeah this is the mood board that we made it's like a um it's not a cork board because it's made of this like felt stuff but you still have like the pins that you push in. It's like an, it's like a cork board except kind of looks like fake marble, which I love. I've just got like color palettes and dresses that I really like and Marie Antoinette, the Sofia Coppola movie. Oh, I love it so much. Yeah, so that's started. And this is the pattern for the last bridesmaid dress that I'm making, which feels so weird to say. That's the sleeve. This is the sleeve flounce. This is the center back, zip in the side, open darts, and then a willow loop fastening at the top. It's like an A-line kick. And then this is the design here. Wah, wah. This guy here. Then it's gonna have all these willow loops on the side and then like all this willow loop lashing that'll go around the waist. Um, yeah, and then, sorry, I'll just see if I can focus a bit better. This is the other bridesmaid's dress you just saw, the copper one, and then that is the petrol colored one. So yeah, this is, this is my sketchbook. This is where I draw all my doodles and figure out what I want to do. That's the cup dress. These are kind of like my um, working drawings. So I'll basically have an external, internal dialogue about how am I gonna line it? What am I gonna do? What's it gonna look like? Where am I gonna pad stitch? Yeah, if I'm gonna do lace or not. Question mark, lace. And then this is the center front. Again, another open dart, a closed dart in the side and then yeah, really nice high neck. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a collar on this one as well, potentially. Maybe, I don't know. That is pretty much everything. Am I covering up the mic? Maybe, sorry. Um, that's everything that has happened and has been happening. Um, I'll show you guys a few more sneak peeks, not sneak peeks. I'll show you guys um, progress from today and a few other things. Um, I definitely, definitely want to film the shoot for you guys so you can see sort of the behind the scenes of the collection shoot because I always do that on my channel. I always post a video of the process and you guys don't really gravitate towards watching it, but I like watching it back because it reminds me of my past and of the kind of things I used to do before. So definitely going to document this. Um, yes, I think that's everything. Hope you guys are doing well and I'll see you in the next video.